This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the accelerated intro to CS course, and I'm on the lesson The Maze. Let's see what we're doing. The if else block checks a condition, ah, and a condition is like, is there a path to the right? The if else block checks a condition and then does one thing or another, that or is key. To get me to the sunflower, try to use this new block. Okay, so I want to show you what it does. This if else block, I'm starting here. So if path ahead, I would do this. If there's a path ahead, I'm going to say move forward. If there's no path ahead, let's say turn right. Okay. And so what will, if there's a path ahead, whoop, I will always move forward. If there's no path ahead, I will always go right. I'm only ever going to do one of these at a time. I either say yes, yes, there's a path ahead of me, and I move forward. Or I say no, I do not move forward, I do the else. So, oh, and there's not, well, okay, turn right. And then if we put this in a loop, it will happen over and over. But let me show you. So, if there's a path ahead, move ahead. Else, turn right. And I only did it once because it's not in a loop yet, right? But let's see if it will let me run it like this. And see, I turned right. If path ahead, there was no path ahead when I was here, and that time I turned right. Let's try this in a loop, right? So let's make this code repeat itself until we get to the sunflower, except I think I want to go left. Let's give it a shot. Ah! We did it! Great. If else is super important and it's going to make it really easy to start building games and stuff as we keep going. Awesome.